Welcome to MBAs Teach Econ. Today we're going to be reviewing uh, one of the top five questions from the WPR. And by top five, I actually mean bottom five because these are the, the most missed question from our first uh, big test of the semester. So looking at this question, it asks us to find the Nash equilibrium. There are two firms are planning to sell either 10 or 20 units of their goods. And, and it's, this is a sequential game. So firm one makes a decision of whether it should um, produce 10 goods or 20 goods. And then based on what firm, firm one does, firm two then chooses whether it should produce 10 or 20 goods. And you can see that in this uh, sequential game diagram right here. And then this game includes payoffs for, for each group. So the, the first payoff in parentheses, this, this payoff, these payoffs belong to firm one. And the second payoff, those belong to firm two. So to figure out what firm one, one wants to do, and this is a common theme whenever we're dealing with game theory, um, we first need to put ourselves in firm two shoes. So we put ourselves in firm two shoes at each of these nodes. So let's start with this node right here. If we're in firm two shoes here, and firm two is choosing between quantity producing 10 or producing 20, we could see that they're trying to choose between 24 and 40. Well, assuming that everybody's rational, firm two would definitely pick to go in this direction, they're going to pick to produce 20 if they're at this node. Now what's firm going to do, two going to do if they're at this node? Well, if they're at this bottom node, um, they're going to be comparing 32 and 16. 32 is greater than 16, so they're definitely going to pick this option. Therefore, they're going to choose to produce a quantity of 10 if they're at this bottom node. So now Firm 1 needs to decide what they're going to do. So Firm 1 is looking at this payoff and this payoff. Again, like, like I already uh, discussed here a second ago, this payoff is associated with that node, and this top payoff is associated with this node. So Firm 1 is comparing the first number in parentheses, this 28 and 48. So firm one, if they're a rational actor, would choose to go with quantity 20 because 48 is greater than 28. So we can see the Nash equilibrium here. Firm one would choose to produce 20 and firm two would choose to produce 10. And this would lead to a payoff of 48 for firm 1 and 32 for firm 2. This is a Nash equilibrium because no player has anything to gain from changing his or her strategy in this case. So if either firm decided to change its strategy away from where we arrived with our Nash equilibrium and the way that we solved this game, uh, they would be worse off. So it just wouldn't make rational sense. So just to review what we did, and again, just looking over here um, at our answer key, uh, the correct answer would be for firm one to produce 20 units and firm two to produce 10, this would be our Nash equilibrium. So this was a sequential game. We just found a Nash equilibrium. The way that we found that was we put ourselves first in firm two shoes. We solved backwards to see what firm two would do in this node and what firm two would do in this node. And then based on what firm two would do, we then put ourselves in firm one shoes and decide what's the best rational option for firm one. And again, it leads to, uh, to this solution which is answer B. And until next time, it's been MBAs Teach Econ.